Good morning, happy Monday, week four of Goofy Challenge Training. Got the dog in the back seat. We went for a three mile run today. Normally I would go by time, but I was feeling really good this morning and I decided I was actually going to do the full mileage rather than go by time. It was a good run this morning. Um, I feel really good. I feel like this time around the heart rate training has just settled itself in. That was not the case when I did this the first time around and, and I just feel like, you know, something's clicking this time. And I do believe that a lot of it, not 100%, but a lot of this is nutrition. And I know I should have figured that out years ago. I know that as an athlete, I know nutrition is important. But I also know that I love a good cupcake. So I need a plan. I need somebody to tell me what to do. I need, I need limitless resources. So this week I'm gonna talk to you about how Whole30 went for me because today is day 29, tomorrow is day 30. Now one question I was getting a lot when I announced that I was doing this whole 30 reset uh, was how am I going to fuel my runs uh, because I'm gonna start doing some longer runs? How was I going to make those nutritional changes for running? Well, believe it or not, there are a lot of folks that actually can run fat adapted and actually do. A lot of your ultra runners run fat adapted. They don't use carbs as fuel. So it's just changing that mentality over and deciding uh, what is going to be appropriate in those particular cases. What I ended up doing is I, it has worked for me forever. So I'm just going to keep fasted running um, for my shorter runs. For my long runs, that didn't really affect me until the last couple of weeks of the whole 30 because I started in recovery week after triathlon and then I really didn't get up over two hours uh, of a training run until last week. For my hydration, I would bring coconut water along with regular water. I didn't bring fuel on my runs. However, if I wanted to, um, those nut butter packs, like RX nut butter packs are really good. They, they're basically, the same consistency as a gel, a carbohydrate gel, uh, but it's it's a nut butter, it's fat. So what this has brought back to me is the meal prep, making sure I have a plan uh, for at least a few days out, knowing what obstacles we have to work around, such as cross country meets. My husband has evening softball games, so sometimes he's home for dinner and sometimes he's not. And I can plan the meal accordingly uh, if he's not there. That's kind of where I'm sitting today. I have to plan a few days worth of meals today. I'm probably not gonna get a chance to shop for it, but I do have to have a plan. Otherwise, we're scrambling. And I have in the past just said, okay, we'll just order a pizza. That's always my go-to, let's just order a pizza. But it is day 30. It is whole 30, day 30. And I'm excited because I, I made it all the way through. I didn't really doubt myself. It wasn't as hard in the ways that I thought it would be hard. It was challenging. I never got to a point where like, I can't do this. I never got to that point. Today, I'm gonna try to get creative with my cross training and I may just go back to an old standard. I may just do um, 30 minutes on the TRX or I might do something completely different. Okay, kind of a fun, slight change in plans. I'm still gonna work out. Instead of working out in my house, as I was walking around the block, I discovered how beautiful a day it is. It's a little cool, a little breezy, and it's overcast, making it the perfect day to actually work out outside.
good workout, you guys. I strongly encourage you to mix it up a little bit like this. We get into a rut, and especially if you're following the Galloway plan and you've been doing this for several weeks now, maybe it's starting to get old and tired and tedious and boring. This is a really good way to mix it up. Go someplace else. You can do the same workout. You can do the same easy three mile run in a completely new place. You can do your same circuit workout or floor strength or yoga in the park. This is just a great way to mix it up. So I'm gonna head back, make some lunch, and I gotta get ready for a cross country game today. I'm running very late, very, very late. Uh, got out probably as early as I could have this morning. I probably could have gotten out about 10 minutes earlier had I not hit snooze the second time. Biggest problem is that uh, I have to get my son out of bed in a minute and I'm about five minutes from home. <laughs> it was a tempo run today three by one mile tempo. The whole run felt great till at the end of the second recovery. So I did two tempo miles and I had a second recovery and my heart rate monitor was starting to misbehave. So I was adjusting it and in the middle of adjusting it, I hit the lap button. So it forwarded me right into the third recovery instead of actually doing that third temple mile. Ugh, I hate it when I do that. Okay guys, here at the grocery store, I just need to pick up a few things today, but this is kind of the uh, MO of uh, just making sure you're eating healthy, right? So it's a lot of um, planning, prepping, shopping, all of that good stuff. I I don't have a lot to get today because I've just planned out the next two days. Whole 30 day 31. I made it through. Didn't do a lot of um, pomp and page pageantry around that because we had the cross country meet last night and I was just exhausted. We had to do homework and we were really busy last night. So it's like, oh yeah, day 31 or day 30, I made it. Lots of veggies, lots of potatoes. Uh, a couple of things that they didn't have today, they ran out of it. But um, I'm telling you, a lot of my grocery bill. <laughs> it's going to my coconut water obsession. Ooh, coconut water. Man. The milk, by the way, that's not for me, that's for my son. <sighs> Thursday, man, the week is flying and I am having a lot of, I have just have so much going on. Um, like all of a sudden it's Thursday and before I know it, it's gonna be Sunday. Today is a cross training day and I've decided I was actually gonna go to the pool. I really would, I, I had my heart set on going to the pool. I actually still want to go. Uh, but because the rest of the day looks the way it does, I'm opting out of that. I'm going to do some yoga here, some strength based yoga here uh, at home. Try to get the dog off my yoga mat. As much as I can, I'm going to follow this whole 30 uh, plan and just kind of keep keep the practice up for a little bit longer, maybe two, th two, three, four more weeks, just to kind of keep it habitual. Went out for a 60 minute run today with the dog. This is my medium run before tomorrow's long run. Uh, so headed to the store to get everything for the weekend. I planned out tonight's meal, uh, and then Saturday and Sunday as well. And we ate all the things. 
last night. I completely jumped off the whole 30 uh, on, on day 32. Now I will say that whole 30 is over and we went to fondue and I ate all the things and I knew I was going to, and I make no apologies for it. Um, I don't feel as horrible as I expected to, but I don't feel great either. <laughs> I had all of it. I had bread and I had cheese because it was fondue and I had chocolate and I had wine and I had um, uh, more chocolate. <laughs> it was just so good. So I, I, I actually was food drunk. I will say that what was really exciting about that was that it tasted so much better. It all tasted so much better because I wasn't eating all of that. And so it's almost like I had a month long palate cleanser. It was so good. So anyway, headed to the grocery this store. Is more like it. A couple dozen eggs, whole bag of produce, more produce, and a whole bag of meats. Okay, good morning, you guys. Saturday morning, about 5.30 a.m. And I'm foam rolling before I head out for my long run today. Nutritionally, this is the first long run after Whole30. So I'm gonna try a couple of things. I'm gonna see how it feels. Um, so this morning, I'm gonna have, before I go out, I'm gonna have at least a couple bites of my RX bar. I'm going, I'm also bringing Noon Endurance Cherry Limeade. So that's got caffeine in it. And um, this is the first time I will be drinking Noon after, after Whole30. So I'm gonna try that out and see how it feels, see how my stomach reacts. Um, because now, during my long runs, I'm going to be dialing in that nutrition piece of it. Uh, but I will check in with you when I get out on the road. in about five minutes here I'm gonna be facing directly into it hey check it out I just got in via Amazon and I will leave the link in the description below uh, my new Knox gear lighted vest I'll tell you a little bit more about this when we get into the gear part of things but guys super lightweight I'm enjoying it so far and I'm, a, I'm two miles in about three minutes away from my race pace set and uh, I will check in with you in a little bit, but it's a beautiful morning, nice and cool. Won't be for long, because there isn't a cloud in the sky. I and mean, look at that, bright blue Colorado day. And it's a beautiful sunrise. This is right here, uh, Star K Ranch. So Star K Ranch is this beautiful wooded area in here. I am currently at an hour and 12 minutes, and uh, so that makes it my halfway point for this run. I'm gonna take on my nutrition. This is RX nut butter, vanilla almond butter. This is basically, I'm gonna try this and replace, replacing my gels. Mm. I love this flavor. Mm. Okay, workout has ended. <laughs> Here's the funny thing. 9.99 .99 miles <laughs> it was automatic it automatically ended at two hours and 24 minutes but i think that's funny because <laughs> one hundredth of a mile i'm calling it 10 miles i'm gonna go home and foam roll watch some running and makeup guys i'm gonna call it here for today i will check in with you from the couch to wrap it up Hey guys, I'm going to close out week four, but before I go, I wanna give you a couple of stats and a couple of final thoughts around this nutritional reset, because this can be kind of a live wire conversation, especially when nutrition comes to your athletic journey. A lot of people have a lot of strong opinions on it, and I'm not here to make any blanket statements. I know that this nutrition reset, the whole 30 worked for me, and it worked very well. However, before I go, I do want to make one recommendation if you are considering following the Whole30. Um, 
it's designed to be done in between training cycles. Even the authors of the book will say that if you are an endurance athlete and you need this nutrition reset, you may want to wait until after your major events are over in between training cycles. You do not want to take this up in the middle of marathon training. It really does mess with your system, especially for the first few days up to a week, maybe even longer than that. So it takes a while for your body to get used to eating differently. If you are interested in following the Whole30 journey, I've left links to their books in the description below. The first major result was that my mood swings leveled out. I was just, uncon I had uncontrollable mood swings at the beginning of this thing. And I feel like they've leveled out quite a bit. They're still there, but they're not nearly as dramatic. And that has had a profound impact on my family and how I interact with them. So that's just, that right there is worth the price of admission. The second thing, I just wanted to feel cleaner. And I do. I feel cleaner inside and out. I just feel better, generally speaking. My muscles don't feel sore or achy all the time. I just feel better. The third and probably the most athletically related issue is that I wanted, I wanted to see the results in the heart rate. And I have, I have seen massive, massive improvements in how my heart rate responds to uh, physical activity, to my running. My resting heart rate has dropped uh, seven beats per minute since the beginning of this whole 30 journey. And my average heart rate during my runs, I can run faster at the same heart rate with these nutritional changes on board. And now the last one is the bonus. I did not have this idea. I did not need this going into Whole30, but I'm pretty excited about it. I lost seven pounds. I mean, I feel, whether or not I look it, I feel like I look better. I just feel stronger. I feel more defined. And my clothes are a little bit looser than they had been before. So I feel like all of these things just shows me that this was just a huge success. Coming up this week, there's a lot that I want, a lot more I want to bring you about this piece of it, the nutrition piece of it. But I'm not a nutritionist, so it makes it a bit challenging for me because I, I not only am I not a nutritionist, but it is one of the most elusive, most elusive pieces of being a runner and a running coach. So that's been challenging for me really throughout my entire athletic journey. That said, over on the blog at, at gofindyourawesome.com, I am going to go into a little bit more detail about this whole 30 journey, how I was impacted, how I managed it, and really what I got out of it. So a little bit more detail about that. During the week, I will talk to you a little bit more about some of the basic tips that you as a runner might take it from nutrition. And over on the podcast, Jen and I have just a nice catch up chit chat uh, before she took off for Paris where she is right now. I will leave links to all of that information in the description below. Please check all of that out. Guys, my question for you today is this. Have you been looking at your long run nutrition? What are you using? Do you have any ideas? Do you need ideas? Please leave thoughts, questions, comments, and suggestions in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Guys, thank you so much for all of your support on this particular phase of my journey. It was challenging, but so very rewarding. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you on the next one. Until then, go find your awesome and happy running.